Therapy for Low Vision Part 2, How Occupational Therapists Help to Prevent Injuries and Improve Lifestyle. Dr. Robert Hartman, resident at Asbury Methodist Village. One out of three people over 65 fall every year. And of those three people, one will probably not be able to return to their prior apartment or home. You don't want to avoid that. Patricia Hoffman, Occupational Therapist, Fox Rehabilitation. Occupational therapists are healthcare professionals that work with people that have lost independence in their lives as a result of accident, injury, or illness. Occupational therapists address the physical, cognitive, social, and psychological aspects of an individual. So in order to uh, address low vision, OTs will look at the impact that low vision is having on all of those areas in order to allow the person to engage as fully as possible in those activities that are important to him or her, again, through the modification of tasks or the environment. All occupational therapists are trained to work with the person that has uh, experiencing low vision. As people age, um, their reaction time and their balance tends to be a little more impaired. So we want to make sure that those abilities to react and respond when there is a loss of balance are intact. Occupational therapists will work with the person on reaching activities, balancing activities, making sure that the person feels stable and confident on their feet so that they feel free to move around their house independently and that they're able to uh, access the areas of their home or their community appropriately. What's involved in an initial visit by an occupational therapist to the home? The first occupational therapy visit focuses on an initial evaluation. Our initial evaluation is comprehensive. Occupational therapists do look at all aspects of the person. We want to look at their physical strength, uh, range of motion, fine motor coordination, activities of daily living, balance, cognition, and vision. All of those things make up the person's ability to function in their day-to-day -day life. So we want to take a look overall at the big picture and identify what the strengths and the weaknesses are at that point. Um, we want to then look at the home environment. We want to make sure that things are safe. We want to make sure that there's good lighting, make sure that there are no obstacles that are presenting fall risks. We want to make sure that they have access to a telephone, that there are smoke detectors in place. So everything from top to bottom, inside and out, we're going to take a look at and make sure that the, uh, the environment is safe for that person. Common safety issues found during a home evaluation. Generally what I found in my own experience most commonly uh, are first and foremost eliminating the clutter and secondly improving the lighting. And I would have to say if I had to choose those things would be the two most primary results that we would have to first go in and fix. What are common remedies recommended by occupational therapists? Uh, one of the main in areas that are, an occupational therapist will address with the person with low vision is increasing contrast in the environment. And everyone will find um, different colors or different backgrounds work best for them. So what we might do are um, things like outlining uh, the stair steps with uh, colored duct tape to help them see that more clearly. If you have a white bathroom sink at home, having darker colored washcloth, towel, soap, toothbrush, and that'll allow the person with the low vision to more easily see these things uh, because of the higher contrast. Example of an OT's home safety therapy visit. Tracy Jaquith, occupational therapist. Color contrast is just using the different colors, the bold colors against the white, or the white against the bold colors. Um, for example, a grab bar, typically standard color is white. Um, if you're having trouble seeing it or having trouble locating it when you're stepping into the shower, you can use that color contrast tape or um, just duct tape you can buy from the drugstore. At a home therapy session recently, there was um, a beige ottoman, a beige carpet, and then also a beige drawer. We were going through your bedroom. I was noticing that the ottoman, the carpet, and the bureau are all the same color. Mm -hmm. It's all the same color scheme. So I would suggest, especially at night, when your vision is a little bit lower, sure. um, and you're not able to see, and you might bump into things, that you either 
move the ottoman. Okay. Or have something like a blanket over it that would be colorful. Okay. So that you were able to see that more. Like contrast between. Yes. Them. Okay. Definitely. To decrease fall risks, we talk about the throw rugs, how we want that non-slip grip on them, uh, making sure that they don't fall. We th talk about the color contrast with the door thresholds. Also in the kitchen, we can use the color contrast tape on the microwave or the stove or even on the refrigerator if they can't see the refrigerator handle. Um, so you really using those color contrast strategies throughout the home. Summing it up, the value of an OT's visit. A safe and functional living space will give the person with low vision a high level of confidence and a feeling of success. As a result, they're more likely to participate in their activities of daily living, and when they're more comfortable participating in their simple activities of daily living in the home, they're more apt to be involved again in the community. And as a result of being involved in the community, they have a feeling of self-worth, and they feel, uh, not only do they feel, but they are then again productive members of our communities. The Bright Focus Foundation gratefully acknowledges the help of Dr. Robert Hardman, Ms. Amy Osterlink, and Ms. Ruth Lotz of Asbury Methodist Village in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and Fox Rehabilitation in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, in the making of this video. For more on how to cope with a diagnosis of glaucoma or macular degeneration, visit our website, call or write us, www.brightfocus.org, 800-437-2423, info at brightfocus.org.